Hey, today we're going to talk about the startup costs. I'm going to break through the wall, the self-limiting belief for your startup costs. I'm about to break this down, detail for you, detail for you right now, starting up a DSP, an Amazon DSP, or any DSP, or any business, the startup costs. I'm about to break that down for you right now. But before we get into it, it's your boy, Sydney Tarver, from the NFL to corporate America to owning my own company, People First Logistics, man. We doing this thing. Three and a half years in the game, business owner. What is a DSP? A DSP is a delivery service provider. Whenever you order that package, I don't care if it's Walmart, Amazon, Target, when it hits your doorstep, the driver who brought it there is a delivery service provider. That's what a DSP is. A company that brings you your package from warehouse to doorstep, that last mile delivery. But we finna get into these startup costs. Let me break down. Startup costs, that's what it costs to start up anything. Business, whatever you wanna do. Think of it as a down payment. Like when you get that house you want. That's your startup cost to buy your house. When you put that down, down payment on your car, that's that startup cost to get in your car. So in your business, what down payment are you willing to put down on starting your business up? What is the amount of money that you're willing to put up to start your business down payment? Startup costs. That's how I'm breaking it down to you. Don't let these technical fancy words break you down. I'm here to push through these fear limiting words and beliefs and break it down to the ridiculous for my people, man. Startup costs. What's your down payment you're willing to put in your business? Amazon wants to see that you willing, you willing to risk 30,000 of your own money to start a business. That's gonna make you well with over 30,000 in two to three months. Why are you even worried about it? Amazon's like, if they scared of 30,000, if they scared to put up 30,000 of their own money, I can't get money with you. That's what Amazon's saying. And that's what I'm saying too. If you can't get up 30,000, why would I even wanna work with you? You already limited. So yeah, but yeah, I understand. That's what my free videos is for. These videos can help you. People who say, yeah, you can just Google all the answers. Yeah, you can Google all the answers. That's why you saying that and don't have a business because you, you didn't Google it or something. I don't know, it don't work like that. <laughs> but yeah, 30K, Amazon wanna see you got that. And not necessarily that you paying Amazon 30K. That's the big misconception. You not giving this 30K to Amazon. They wanna see that you have 30K to cover startup costs. And people say startup costs. I'm gonna give you what some things that are like startup costs. Uniforms, vest, phones, phone devices that you're gonna need for those trucks. We got videos showing you that. Check out that around the channel. You're gonna have to buy phones, you're gonna have to buy hats, devices, uniforms, safety vests, boot, uh, equipment, racks, pods, shovels, foam mount holders. Uh, screen, protective screen cases, um, payroll. You're gonna have to cover payroll. What if Amazon don't pay you on the first cycle payroll for whatever reasons, it's business, that can happen. What if you miss your payroll, first payroll? Are you able to fund that out of your own pocket or are you gonna go broke? Like You have to have some skin in the game to start up your business. That's all this is about. It's gonna be costs that come out of nowhere. It's gonna cost way more than you think it's gonna cost too. And it's no, it costs 50K. It just, you keep, keep spending and keep spending and you look up and you spent the hundred grand easily. Just know everything's gonna cost more and it is what it is. That's how the game go. How you get back there on that road? But um, yeah, you gotta run ass on Indeed. That costs money. Just like you run an ass on Facebook or Instagram trying to get your thing out. You trying to get your job seen and somebody to click. You trying to get a lead. You trying to get them through your sales funnel or your hiring form, your onboarding process to get them on your team. Everything is connected. The onboarding process, the sales process, how well do you get people from the top of your funnel to the bottom of your funnel and in the seat driving, working and employed? No, you don't have to pay Amazon anything. They just want to see that you have the capital cover some costs that you might incur when doing business. And we, we know business always comes at a cost, my boy. Yeah, I mean, I remember spending money. Once you start spending money, you've seen how I order off Amazon. It, I was just in there. Jofer told me I needed to buy a phone case, kids, a uh, phone kit, Every day is something, phone mounts, oil change, tire change, a van catch on fire, a paper cut, paper clips, filing cabinet. Um, my driver lost his stuff. I'm probably gonna replace it in the fire or whatever he lost in my van. Yeah, he might have had 10K. I don't know about that one, but drug screens, drug tests. I just paid for drug tests this morning. They cost a thousand dollars. Every day something breaks or happens or you have to cover costs and it's just like that. You just want to manage your risk and make sure your processes are there to cut down and mitigate the risk that you take by doing business. Business is all about mitigating the risk. Shit's gonna happen, shit's gonna break, yeah, but do you have enough money or do you have enough resources to overcome the problem? No, you probably do. It's just certain programs that they give people breaks, but I would say try to have 75K. Try to have as much capital above 30K that you can because you're gonna need it. And I say that because 
the more systems that you build up front and processes that you build on the front end, the more you load up and pay on the front end, the easier it's gonna be in the back end for you once you really get going and knowing what you're doing. So I'm all about investing all in. Um, you can't really count the money. You can't count the money. Stop counting the money, just make more of the money. Cause when you count the money, you get so stuck on a number that you kind of limit yourself to pushing ahead. All you think about is a 30K, like a 30K. No, think bigger than 30K, think 10X 30K. Whatever you think is a big amount of money, add a zero to that. So instead of 30K, think I need 300,000 to start my business. I need 300,000. Like just think big. That's all I'm saying, don't let the money limit you. But yeah, you wanna have as much money over 30K as possible before you start this business up, man. If I tried to make 30K right now to start a DSP and I didn't have no money, what I would do, get into sales, some sort of sales. So whether I'm connecting the deal or selling somebody's product for them, that's probably the easy way. Selling somebody a product for you, affiliating it for them, or another way, go to alibaba.com, get you a credit card. You should have a credit limit or something. I don't know swipe for you some sort of product, a t-shirt, a cup, a fidget spinner, I don't know. Just buy you a bulk order of something for like 50 cents to a dollar and then do the math on it and charge five, 10 X times the thing that you buy off Alibaba and put, run some ads, save you an ad budget and drop ship or sell it out however you can. Take it around, sell it door to door, go stand downtown with a table, put it out and sell it, make some sales. With sales, I know you're not gonna make 30K working your 15 to $19 hour job. It's just gonna be too hard. You're gonna have to do something on the side like sales, go flip some pallet, go flip something. Go whole, um, wholesale real estate. Go find an abandoned house and then go find a buyer and connect them. Go connect people and make money off the connection. You feel me? That's what everybody do in the world. They pay, you gotta pay for connections. You gotta pay for retweets, reposts. Get attention to your product. Get attention to yourself. Get attention to your brand. That's what's going on if you don't really know what's going on. Drive traffic to a buy button. I got that from Robbie Cornelia. The reason you ain't making no money online because you don't got enough buy buttons posted up. Shout out from the book of Robbie. My book of my book preaching, Robbie Cornelius. You not making no money online because you don't got enough buy buttons attached to your name. When we search you up, all you got is an Instagram profile like this. You need to have a book. What's your name? Sydney Tarver book, Sydney Tarver course, Sydney Tarver Shopify store, Sydney Tarver nonprofit, Sydney Tarver buy my this, Sydney Tarver buy my course. Sydney Tarver, buy my mentorship. That's what you can find in the People First community. I got a few buy buttons attached to me. We ain't doing this for free, man. The money is out here, man. Don't have the fear. Most people who are millionaires and billionaires didn't come from rich families. A lot of them did, but a lot of people are self-made millionaires. It's out here to get it. Believe me. I told you, my first job was $7.25 an hour. That was when I was, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? It's just take time to figure it out, or it don't take time. You gotta train your brain to see opportunities in everything. Acres of diamonds. Everything is a diamond mine. This is a diamond mine. If you, if you know what you're looking for, this is a field of diamonds. I see money. I see money and opportunities everywhere. I should get enough, I should get enough drivers to fill this up. This make me think like I need to hire more. We need to get more vans on the road. One of these trucks to make me a day, I say anywhere to like three or four hundred dollars a day. Not including profit, but like, yeah, once I split it, maybe 250, 300 a day, something like that. Stop, kill the self-limiting beliefs, man. You can do this. Don't worry about money. People kill the dream because they worry about money too much. When somebody asks you for $20, uh, don't give it to them. And then see tomorrow, be like, did you get the money that you needed? And they not even, they're like, what you talking about? They not even gonna know what you talking about. Money comes, money goes, invested into assets that pay you.